Angulo, and nandito na tayo sa second problem ng supplementary problem ng fluid mechanic and hydraulics fourth edition by Glesania. Ito ay under sa chapter 1 ng naturang libro. So we have the problem here, a vertical cylindrical tank with a diameter of 12 meter and a depth of 4 meter is filled with a water to top with the water at 20 degrees Celsius. If the water is heated at 250 degrees Celsius, how much water will be spilled over? By the unit weight of water at 20 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius is 9.79 kN per meter cube and 9.69 kN per meter cube. Okay, in this problem, we are looking for the volume of water spilled over. Okay? okay. Inahanap natin yung volume ng water na natapon kapag hinited daw or ininit yung 20 degrees Celsius sa tubig, 250 degrees Celsius sa tubig. As you can see, meron din binagay dito na unit weight ng mga tubig sa naturang temperature na ito. As you can see, meron tayong unit weight, volume ang pinapahanap, and ang mass ng dalawang tubig na yan is pareho lang. Ano? So, eventually, gagamit lang tayo ng basic formula na unit weight is equal to the mass over volume. Nasabi ko kanina na ang mass ng dalawang tubig na ito, based on my analyzation, is pareho lang. So, pwede natin i-compare yung mass nila. Let's say, mass 1 is equal to mass 2. Okay? From this formula, pwede natin sabihin ng unit weight or ang mass 1 is equal to the unit weight at 20 degrees Celsius V1. Let's say 20 V1 is just equal to the unit weight ng 50 degrees Celsius V2. Okay? We have the given for the unit weights. Okay? For the volume 1, ito yung volume ng tubig at 20 degrees Celsius na kaindigay dito na meron tayong cylindrical diameter or may cylindrical tank na may diameter na 12 meter and depth of 4 meter na pinuno daw ng tubig okay? pinuno ng tubig hanggang sa top na ang laman ng tubig or ang temperature ng tubig is 20 degrees Celsius so pwede natin gamitin yun as our V1 okay? remember the formula for the volume of cylinder is equal to 2 I mean uh, pi r square h okay? Pi. Ang R natin is palati ng 12. We have 6. Okay. Squared. And we have 4 for our depth. So overall, we have um, 36 multiplied by 4. That will give us 144. And we have the pi. Don't forget the pi. Okay. The meter. And the unit is meter. Cube. So from this principle, direct substitution. By the way, the V2 here is the unknown but it is not the answer so to solve for the spilled uh, water we can use let's say vs for the spilled is equal to the difference ng v2 and v1 okay so that's it we have direct substitution now unit weight ng 20 degrees celsius we have 9.79 kilonewton per meter cube Multiply by the volume of 144 pi meter cube is equal to unit weight ng 50 degrees Celsius. We have 9.69 kilonewton per meter cube. Multiply by the volume V2. So as you can see, the meter cube here will cancel out. Also for the kilonewton. So matitira is a meter cube. So, i-divide lang natin yung whole equation natin sa 9.69 9.69 Okay So, solving for V2 makakakuha tayo ng 457.058 meter cube Okay Since we have the V2 and we have the V1 we can now easily solve for this build water So, Vs is just equal to 457.058 minus 144 pi. So, the Vs is just equal to okay, 4.67 meter cube. So, ito na yung spilled water sa ating problem. 